Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the John Deere Model A, one of the most iconic tractors in American history. This tractor was introduced in the 1930s and remained in production for over two decades, during which time became a workhorse on farms across the United States. Let's dive in and take a closer look at what made this tractor such a legendary machine. The John Deere Model A was first introduced in 1934 as a replacement for the Model D. At the time, the Great Depression was still in full swing and farmers were looking for a reliable and affordable tractor to help them work their land and turn a profit. The Model A was designed with these farmers in mind and it quickly became one of John Deere's most popular models. Now John Deere didn't just come up with the Model A overnight. They began to modify GP tractors with adjustable rear axles and narrow front ends. And in 1933, when Deere was experimenting on what would become the Model A. Now when the Model A would come out in 1934, it would host a 321 cubic inch two-cylinder gas engine. The bore of 5.5 inches and a stroke of 6.5, accompanied by a four-speed transmission that was revolutionary at the time. Now when we're talking about John Deere A's, there's two main categories, unstyled and styled. Unstyled ones being the early models, and styled ones being the late ones with full tin work covering the radiator. Now in those days, steel wheels were widely popular. One cool thing to note, the Model A was the first Deere tractor to have factory rubber as an option. Now in those days, efficiency was everything. With the two-cylinder engine producing around 25 horsepower, it might not sound like a lot, but at the time, it was more than plenty. Boasting a low fuel consumption, John Deere stated you could run a full day off one tank. Now there were many different variants of the Model A. The row crop, which was the most standard and widely produced one, then a standard front axle, an orchard style, a narrow orchard, an adjustable front, single front wheel, high crop adjustable wide front, and high crop single front wheel. Now a couple things John Deere changed in mid-1935 was they went away from having an open fan shaft and a four-spoke steering wheel. With John Deere having a four-year run on the unstyled A, it was time to make a change, and that came in 1938. Streamlining the Model A, they got a hood to cover the gas tank and radiator. 1938 would also be the first year John Deere would offer electric start on the Model A, which before this, it was hand crank. Now these early styled ones kept the same four-speed transmission as the unstyled one does. 11,000 to be exact, until John Deere decided to increase the horsepower by increasing the stroke of the engine. Also at this time, they changed the PTO shaft from inch and an eighth to inch and three eighths, and they also replaced the 12 spline axle with a 15 spline. And in 1941, the engine was increased from 309 cubic inches to 321, bringing it up to around 34 horsepower. This extra horsepower meant it was time to change the transmission, bringing it up to a six speed. With this extra horsepower and a modern transmission, a lot of people claim this tractor to be a three plow tractor in light soil. Now it's in these years from 39 to 47, you'll hear the term slant dash, which refers to the Model A tractors that came with electric start, having an extra piece and sealing the battery. Another important feature of the Model A was its hydraulic system. Although it did not have live power, which is hydraulic power whenever you need it not having to have the clutch engaged. It was designed to be reliable and easy to maintain, which was a major selling point for farmers who needed dependable equipment they could count on. The Model A was also the first John Deere tractor to have lights put on it for farmers to be able to work around the clock. The Model A was also one of the first John Deere tractors to be exported overseas, giving John Deere true global reach. With World War II bringing on all kinds of challenges for U.S. manufacturers, it also did for John Deere. Due to not being able to use copper, John Deere's radiators were manufactured from steel, which did not cool as well. The tractors were adapted with a pressure cooling system during these times. It's also during World War II that the U.S. military used modified versions of the Model A in tasks like runway maintenance and airfield construction. At one point, there was even an armored version of the A that was produced. It's important to note that these early Model A's came out of the factory with magneto ignition systems, as opposed to the later ones when they would switch it off to have points. After the war, John Deere would bring on even more design improvements, including the power troll system, which meant a variable rock shaft. These changes would come in 1947, which would also come along with the Rollomatic front end, 
being a revolutionary part of technology, the Rollomatic's front-end design was used all the way up to the 30 and 40 20s. Another change they made is they all came out of the factory with electric start. With operator comfort now improving, John Deere had to as well. They would introduce even more advances in its Model A. The old pan seat would be gone forever and a new armchair design with cushions would incorporate it in. One of the biggest and best improvements on this newer style A was that the frame. They went away from the normal cast iron frame and it was replaced with a press frame. Along with that, the starter was moved from the top of the engine to down below, which allowed them to cover the flywheel with a dress item. They would also use a point style ignition system on these later A's. Now in 1952, the Korean War brought on a shortage of copper again, and the radiators were made from steel. But this time, instead they installed a water pump. The Styled A was one of the most popular tractors of its time, with more than 164,000 being produced between 1947 and 1952. The John Deere Model A remained in production until late 1952, by at which time 300,000 had been built. Today, the Model A is a popular choice among collectors and enthusiasts. Many people have restored them to original condition, but I'm curious, do you like them original or do you like them repainted? Let me know down in the comments. So there you have it, a closer look at the John Deere Model A. Granted, we didn't hit every detail, but we skimmed the top ones. Anyways, this tractor is a true American icon, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll catch you all right here another time.